Hey Pit Masters, what's up? Today we're going to make the most delicious bacon you've ever had. Summer is almost over. Yes, it's bad news. But for us in the Netherlands, it means it's going to get rainy and probably it's going to get windy and it's definitely going to get colder. So what I need for my recipes is bacon. Of course, I gotta have bacon. We eat a lot of split pea soup in the winter because it's got vitamins, it's good for you. We eat sauerkraut with bacon. And that's why I need my bacon. And I better start making my bacon right now because I wanna be prepared for when that cold weather starts hitting me. I gotta have some like spares, like I gotta have a little extra to keep me warm in the winter. So I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect bacon. Like I'm talking about crazy flavors and a bacon that you can make at home and that's gonna last you all winter long. I'm gonna give you this bacon recipe and it's calculated to one kilogram of bacon. Of course, every good bacon recipe starts with a beautiful cut of pork belly. I've got this Liefar pork belly. It has the right amount of meat and the right amount of fat to make the perfect bacon. And making bacon is almost like baking. So you're gonna need a skill. And the recipe that I'm posting on pitmasterx.com is based on one kilogram. So if you have your pork belly, you have to weigh it and adjust the amounts of the ingredients that we're using to brine the bacon. My pork belly is two kilograms, so I'm multiplying my amounts by two. And the ingredients are calorie salt, sugar, whiskey, and apple spread. Now we gotta talk about the apple spread. This is something that is not worldwide known. If you never heard about apple spread before, just type it in on Amazon and I'll swear you find some good apple spread. Now we got all of the ingredients in the bag and you don't have to worry about massaging it in and spreading it out because it will mix together over time. This is gonna be in the fridge for seven days and all of that fluid and moisture, which is gonna be drawn out, out of the pork belly is going to mix and it's going to spread out because every single day you're going to rotate this until you hit the seven days of course still we're gonna do like a quick flip a quick mix there we go and this is more than enough now you can use a ziploc bag i'm using a vacuum bag and I'm going to put that in my vacuum machine. I'm gonna push out the air because this is not the right vacuum bag for this vacuum machine, but I just wanna give it a seal. It's not about vacuum, it's about keeping the moisture in. There we go, first seal. Now I like to do a double seal just to make sure that no moisture is gonna leak out of this. There we go. And we got a good double seal, marinated in. And again, a Ziploc bag will do just fine. So you can easily do this at home. Now we got the perfect double seal. We got still got lots and lots of air in the bag. That's just fine. What is, and what's going to happen, all of these ingredients are going to draw into our bacon and they're gonna make our bacon delicious. And it's going to take seven days in the fridge, flipping it every single day. So see you guys on the other side. It's been seven days since I put this bacon in the fridge. I'm so curious. Let's open this thing up. Now look at that. You can see the meat changed color into a dark red, that pinkish red that we all know of our bacon. Together with that apple, we got a little bit of brown going on. All of that moisture, we're gonna throw away. Now I'm going to pat my bacon dry with a piece of paper towel. Get all of that residue off, just trying to get that clean meat. If you want to, you can even rinse the bacon off. Look at that, that is looking amazing. It's important that you get the bacon dry. Even if you rinse it off, you gotta make sure you pat it dry with a paper towel. The drier the outside is, the better it picks up smoke. Let's fire up our master build smoker.
The master build is getting up to temperature and we're aiming for 110 degrees Celsius, which is around 220, 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, I want to keep an eye on my core temperature of the bacon. So I'm putting in my meter probe and this way I know when I hit a core temperature of 65 degrees Celsius, I'm going to get that notification and we're going to have the perfect bacon. Now let's put it on. I'm going to place this in the center with the fat cap down right there. Look at that beautiful thing. Now I'm going to close the lid and the last thing that we're going to do is add some smoke wood to our master build smoker. I absolutely love beech tree. It's the local flavor. If you're making bacon, then always take into consideration where you live and what your local smoke flavors are. If you live in the US, I can imagine not using beech, but post oak, for instance, we're going to be using beech. So I'm opening up my master build and I'm adding the smoke wood down in the ashtray. Now, when the ash falls down onto the wood, you get these little embers. When the embers fall down from the gravity smoker, they hit the smoke wood and all of that smoke is going up into our smoker and it's going to create beautiful flavors on our bacon. Close the lid and let the master build do its job. I just got the notification for my meter thermometer that our pork belly is done. And look at that color. Beautiful golden brown and the red from the smoke this is exactly what we're looking for. Put in three big pieces to get enough smoke on this pork belly. But once they were burned up and given all of their smoke, I had the color that I'm looking for. So if you're smoking bacon, don't over smoke it. Just take a look at that color. And when it's absolutely perfect, stop smoking and continue to cook. And that's what we're looking for. Now, we gotta let this cool down a little bit because I cooked it all the way up to 65 degrees Celsius. So I'm taking a thermometer out and this is cooked. We can eat this right now. So actually, I wanna do a taste test already. It's like a little premature, I know, but I just wanna slice into it and take a look inside. Oh, look at that. Now that's what I call bacon. Beautiful red color through and through juicy, fatty. We're gonna cut some slices out of this. Oh, this is gonna be good. Now, of course, I want some of that meat, but I also want a little bit of that fat because good bacon is 50% meat, 50% fat. Cheers. Mm. Wow. You won't find any better bacon than homemade bacon. Like the combination of that apple spread together with that whiskey is just insane. It's like if your grandma makes apple pie for you, that's the best apple pie you can get. It's the same with homemade bacon. It's warm, it's fresh, it's flavorful, it's exciting. You can't buy this in the store. This is the best stuff in the world. I'm gonna cut this up into pieces so I can have a little for later. And in the meantime, we're gonna make a tasty brunch. Now I'm gonna turn this smoker into a griddle. That's right, you don't need to buy a Blackstone or a separate griddle. This thing is gonna do it all for you. Enough said. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Bacon makes everything better. I know you're here for the bacon recipe. I know you love bacon. And now you can make this at home with just the simple ingredients. Yes, you have to look for the salt, but you're gonna do it. I know you can. You can find all the stuff on Amazon, on eBay, on all these sites. Like, and if you can't, just ask your butcher. He will give it to you. Like, if you buy from him 
a piece of pork belly and you say you want to make bacon but you tell them you don't know where you can find the color salt or like the pink salt or pryeg salt or whatever you're looking for he will give it to you don't tell him i said that but he, he will i'm sure of it oh this is perfect this is this is michelin star uh, style breakfast and why i'm eating egg first you know that's you know but it's like in my head i always keep the bacon for last so it's like a a normal thing to do for me, but okay, I'm gonna go for bacon first, man. Oh. This is some serious bacon. Oh my goodness, mm, this is way too good for me. I don't deserve this. I've made too many mistakes in my life to deserve this. This makes me so happy, homemade bacon, it's the key. Of course, everything homemade is better, I know. But bacon, it just, you can knock it out of the park. You're not eating bacon with alcohol. You're eating something with, with like an oak barrel flavored style. Well, flavor. It doesn't taste like whiskey, but it does. It's just a really good thing. I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's bacon. You got the whiskey flavor. You got the apple spread flavor. And the rest is just the magic of the smoke and the pork belly coming together. That's all you need to know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then leave us a big thumbs up. Big thanks to our patrons and our YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's smakelijk. And keep on baking it. Mm.